On May 7, 1902, on the island of Martinique, the town drunk and troublemaker got thrown into prison. It was the luckiest day of his life. St. Pierre uh, on Martinique uh, was at the time known as the Paris of the Caribbean. It had a big population of over 30,000 people and was a cultural hub. Luger Sobaris, he was a local, he was a drunk, and he spent a lot of time in prison. Martinique is home to Mount Pele, one of the most active volcanoes in the world. And the day after he went into that prison cell, Mount Pele exploded. In the weeks before Ludger Sobaris was thrown into prison, the volcano on the island of Martinique was showing signs of volcanic activity. Although people knew that something was going to happen, without modern volcanology, they didn't have a really good sense of how big or how dangerous the threat was. Thousands of people left the countryside and came to the city of St. Pierre because they thought it would be safer there. That was a terrible mistake. On May 8th, the volcano erupted, and in an instant, 30,000 people were dead. A pressure wave, a superheated pressure wave of over a thousand degrees flattened every single building. The air was replaced with superheated noxious gases. Anyone who was uh, you know, unlucky enough to be outside was instantly burned to death. Those who were in shelter found themselves choking as their, their lungs were literally burned from the inside out. There was really no escape, except for one person, Luger. So Boris. The cell he was in had been built as a uh, armory, as a place to store ammunition. So it had been built with incredibly thick walls, and it so happened that the only openings in it faced away from the eruption. Even so, super hot air began to force its way underneath the door, and uh, as his cell heated to incredibly high temperatures. He was forced to strip naked, push his, uh, his clothes underneath the door, and actually he peed on the clothes just to try and keep the hot air from entering. He was still badly, badly burned, and he wasn't found until four days later uh, when rescuers uh, heard his cries. And here's the interesting thing. There are suspicions because he was put into solitary confinement that he may have been in jail for something as serious as murder. But we'll never know because in that one moment, the entire town, every record of his wrongdoings were wiped off the face of the earth. This story was so amazing, so outlandish, that he was offered a contract by Barnum and Bailey to travel the country as the man who survived doomsday. So he spent the next years of his life presented as this, this kind of historical freak show, this incredible occasion of, of survival against all odds. So well, the eruption of Mount Pele may have meant doomsday for all of St. Pierre. For Ludger Sobaris, it was a kind of salvation. To subscribe, click here. Uh, and to see more videos, click here.